And good evening, my lovely Lost Tales, and welcome back to the Blue Rose Respite for my Soothing Sunday stream. And tonight we will be finishing Cult of the Lamb. Um, we're right at the end of this game, so I'm just going to mess around with the cult a little bit, make sure that everyone is doing good, having a good time, before we finally go into the woods and release the one who waits. So thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I did my makeup in what I think was very appropriate for the finale of this absolutely incredible game. I'm channeling some cult leader realness right now. <laughs> oh, our precious little bean. I love him so much. Because yes, our last big quest is free the one who waits. Which might take a little bit of time depending on how things go but I want to make sure that everything is all good with our cult so we might just mess around with our cult take care of some other quests first and then maybe about an hour or so into tonight then we'll go see um, the one who waits but my cult is doing wonderfully well oh that's right I need to build the thing the compost thing one second can I make that now Yes, I can. I'm going to... Uh, I won't put it right there. I want to put it here. Because, mm. yeah, that's where the tent is where everyone's sleeping. So let's put that there. Everyone's doing well. Waking up bright and early. Doing their chores. So, yeah. it. Of course, um, it just takes a little while for the... Um, uh, Twitch integration to kick in, so that should all be good. But I have to say, our cult has come a long way over the past few weeks, and now it is for a strong, healthy, question mark, and very, very powerful. Oh, thank you for the stretch check, Hayden. Oh. Ah, that's better. Oh, I didn't want to be mean to you guys, because I mean... You work so hard for me, so I want to make sure you guys have got like a nice place to live in. And yeah, it would have been right next to the shrine otherwise, and no, can't have that. But we're missing another stone cutter thing, so let's build one of those. thing. And look at how many of my wonderful followers are resting in peace. Oh, everyone's doing so well. Today's been very good. Um, I've mostly been busy working on uh, my script for my latest ASMR video, which, as it turns out, is um, a lot longer than I expected. Um, because what I do is uh, the first week I plan everything out in terms of like the main kind of story beats that I want to hit, um, and then I spend the weekend actually sitting down and writing the script. But it turned out to be a lot longer than I expected. So tomorrow I'm going to set to edit, uh, uh, edit it and everything like that. And yeah, also today, um, uh, Sundays are usually also the day I do my meal prep. So I cook all my dinners and stuff in advance for the week to come. You know what? 
why don't we do a fun little ritual? No, I'm not going to do the brainwashing ritual. But we've got so many bones. Could bring some back. Let's just do... Let's do a bonfire ritual. Keep that faith going nice and strong. Because I have bones to spare, baby. Oh yeah, Sam, honestly, this is what my weekend is normally like. I have no time off for myself, pretty much. Um, the weekends, it's like gym in the morning, and then working on scripts or working on videos. And then um, Sundays, I always do my meal prep for the week ahead because I'm so busy in the evenings on a daily, on a weekly basis. So then, then my dinner's already taken care of, so then I can get to work straight away as soon as I come home from work at the office. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to relax over the Christmas break just a little bit, so don't you worry. <laughs> Responsible adulting is amazing. Like, it is amazing and it's so rewarding when I've got, like, all my shit together and I uh, managed to, like, accomplish the things that I set out to do. But, God, it's exhausting. Raiders usually have some fucking wild schedules. Yes, yes they absolutely do. But I will say one thing that I set down as a promise to myself when I first started this was that I was not going to ever pull all-nighters to finish um, videos or scripts or like content in general. I was never going to do all-nighters. And I would have a set time in the evening when it's like, okay, I've come to the end of the night and this is the time I'm going to stop. So that then I'm not like mentally and physically exhausting myself. Like I'm I'm busy and I'm focused like 90% of the time, but I always try to like have a personal cutoff time of like, nope, you come to the end of the night, you did the best you could today, and that is more than enough. Because I know there's some content creators out there who like literally pull all nighters and uh, to like finish videos, work on scripts, voice act stuff. I can't do that. I, I need a full night's sleep. Oh, what do we need? Okay, I've got a couple of gold bars. What do I actually... Okay, I'm running low a little wooden plank, so let's get some of these made. I see everyone's doing pretty good so far, but I'm just going to make... Um... Some more food. Because I have a quest I need to go into Anchor Deep to do. So I just want to make sure everyone is happy and fed before I go out. Gold bars for the final tarot cards. Yes, that was one of the things I needed. Um, oh, Strike Lord's not doing so well. I think there's a couple of people who are feeling a little bit sick, so let's get that taken care of. Yeah, let's get you taken care of, Stripe Lord. Oh. Mm. I think you need 20 to get uh, the last tarot cards. Good, good. In that case, I will set that up right away. Uh, before I go away on my little mission. Okay, now that everyone is doing a lot better, I'm going to go do that quest in Anchor Deep because we had a request to go, go find my friend, please. Not yet. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm not ready for that just yet. That's okay. We've got to do some other quests first and get all the tarot cards. Hello. <laughs> Although a renowned recount amongst his peerage, Kalamar was masterful in his repression of his underlings through a goo. Free of greed of plague, the creatures of Anchor Deep strike with renewed vigor. Heed caution as thou travel therewith. 
Okay, guys, it seems that uh, the totem and uh, the Twitch integration is working now. For the last time. Because this is going to be my last Call of the Lamb stream. ideas for next week uh, Sunday stream um there's a couple I have decided what I'm gonna be doing next um, Friday but I just need to double check if there's a particular game that's coming out next week that I'd like to play for my Sunday stream I just need to double check that so keep an eye on my socials and uh, I'll announce what I'm gonna be playing soon I spent hours trying to figure out Friday's game. It's gotten to me. You, you guys are in for a treat for next Friday. But you're gonna just have to be nice and patient. Okay. Drop like echo when you roll. That one's always good. Yeah, this weapon, not the biggest fan of it myself. It is quite slow. I usually prefer fast weapons, but that's just me. Hello. Yeah, I'll make an offering. I'm literally swimming in gold. Ooh, thank you. The statue rewards an abundance of food. New Dutchman, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you are welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. Oh, Nick, there you are. I missed you. Uh, attack uh, attack rate increased by 1.25%. Yeah. And let's make an offering to get an extra card. Oh, yes. I need an extra heart. Running a little bit low. One cannot argue with the draw. One might as well argue with the ocean. All I'll say is you did that gold room in the right order. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna make that mistake of like fucking around with a statue of an ancient god after I mess up or steal all the gold around them. Because I have a feeling if I did that, I don't know if it, it might drain all of the gold in my pocket or something. I don't know. I didn't want to fuck around and find out. <laughs> oh, Twitch chat, you're deciding my fate, are you? Pick something fun for me. Ooh, bonus tarot card, nice, nice. Oh, and an extra two red hearts. Yes, please. Oh, 
Oh, let's go this way. Well, Nick. Tell me, Lamb, do you know destiny immutable? Ah, to fuck around is mortal. To find out is divine. <laughs> Wise words. Wise words indeed, Samuel. Fervor will suddenly replenish over time. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Yes. Yes, yes, let's go with that. Bates has spoken. We will listen. And I just love it that last stream when I was playing Cold of the Lamb. You guys just love the voice that I did for this precious little bean. For I am a fearsome lamb. I have slain all five bishops. And all heretics shall fear me. Oh, thank you so much, Shredder Spagoot. Like, I'm not used to doing characters with like higher voices, but I like messing around or experimenting with my voice just to see if I can do like fun, weird little things with it. Ooh, divine light knocks back and poisons enemies. Okay, let's go with that. I like that. Um, I do like experimenting with my voice and just kind of seeing what comes out. Okay, yes, that's the one we need to do for our quest. This is probably my favorite track. The whole soundtrack to this game is so good. I need to actually see if it's on Spotify. Because uh, to all of my fellow D&D nerds out there, like the tracks in this game, especially the combat tracks, would make for some great fight music if you're gonna have like a D&D game set in the Feywild. Because I'm not sure if it would like fit another setting, but because it has that kind of lightness, but also the uh, the choirs in it uh, add that otherworldliness to it as well. is strong and profitable and we welcome all newcomers now hey Connor how's it going welcome back hello uh, merciless act oh a tempest gauntlet uh, I said deadly spike gloves. We could first, but devastating on complete combo. Let's go with that. Speed's the same, but the damage increases. You have your followers, and I'm my weapons. One must find comfort and power where they can. TW Catgirl, thank you so much for the renewed subscription for three months now. Thank you so, so much. Oh, you're amazing. Thank you. Yeah. 
think it was a hair on my nose that was annoying me. There. Oh, that knockback ability is very useful when you get to rooms like this one. Hi, friend. I'm going to make that offering first. The Statue of the Beast gives you 19 gold. Well then. I'll just take the rest then. Because I take what I deserve. That would have been a terrifying room without the knockback. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. get the um the heart as well and then we can go take it uh for extra reward i'm not going to try and complete uh that particular quest just because we'd have to go back to a lot of uh different lands to get all the uh hearts and everything but i do want to try and get all the tarot cards and that sh and we should have enough gold bars by the time i get back to my cult after this little crusade enemies within your range while also damaging them. Okay, let's go with that one because it does more damage. Like, the other one did poison damage, but overall damage is also really good. Yeah, I think it's just an option for getting uh, talismans, so there are multiple ways to complete that quest. Yeah, and honestly, like, the talismans are just to unlock all the different fleeces, which is nice, but honestly, there's only really one I've used this whole time, and I'm very happy with it, so I don't feel like I have to be a, com a completionist on this run. I just am playing it mostly for the story, and as it turns out, oh, I've almost got all the tarot cards, so let's um, try and get the rest of those, shall we? Mm. 
Sorry, I always get quiet during the boss fights because I'm like, I'm, there's so much happening, I need to concentrate. sacrifice you but I don't want to sacrifice you uh Jen you are there <laughs> no which one of you volunteers as tribute oh my god there's only one who can be sacrificed and it's me no that's Mike. Where's Scarlet? No, Scarlet, you're, you're my loyalty enforcer. You have to stay alive. <laughs> but Jen uh, did say am I there first, so Jen, with your sacrifice I will be restored. Can't I give gold to come back? No, I can only return to my cold. I'm sorry. Jen, we thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> okay, that's kind of messed up, but very cool. No, no, it's, it's, it's very, it is hilarious. So yeah, it's perfectly fine that you find that hilarious. And Riley fucking died while I was away, so fine, I'll go take care of you. But I'm gonna do the, um, feast ritual, I think. Hey, welcome back! Oh yeah, that was a mini boss. Um, because when you come back to go through the same areas that uh, you've already cleared, uh, like the main boss out of it, um, then the enemies you fight are even tougher. But yeah, let's go do the um, feasting ritual, and then I'll give my sermon. We hold this feast in memory of Jen, who sacrificed themselves so that I may have another 30 seconds of life. I did your dumb quest. You honor me, great leader. I am eternally grateful. There we go.
go. Gold bars made just in case. And everything else is going good. But yeah, once I've got all of the tarot cards, then I'll try to see if I can get all of the huts upgraded as well. Actually, there's a couple of these that are unoccupied, so let's see if I can give those uh, to some people. Like, who's still... who's currently there? Okay, that one's unoccupied. Okay, there's actually Carmina's there, so why don't we give you this one instead? So you deserve somewhere nicer to lay your weary head. And Cloud Rebot, let's give you somewhere a bit more comfortable. And Wolf Warrior and Scarlet. Scarlet definitely deserves somewhere a bit nicer. Go there. Where are you? Oh. Oh, wolf warrior, where are you? Caver and Silka. Is here. Frosty King, Sticky and Blue Bear. Because I just want to make sure that all my wonderful followers leave, uh, sleep in lovely places. is looking mighty fine. Like, I'm very proud of how nice our cult has come together. It has a nice flow to it and all that. Okay, we need another, another um, wood chopping spot. And I know this is the last stream and like we have more than enough resources but I still want to like when I close this game be like yeah I'm really really proud of how this all came together and the effort that I went into into making sure everything looked nice you guys lived in a nice place could you tell that I pl played the sims a lot when I was growing up J just a little bit We are all exhausted. Please let us have a break. We wish to observe the Sabbath. You know what? Sure. All of you worked so hard. Baron Alistair has died of old age. No. Yeah, I want all my followers to have a nice place to live. Let's get you taken care of. But we have some new people to indoctrinate. So, chat, if you have not joined my cult yet, and you're currently uh, watching my stream on a browser, um, I'm going to be doing the raffle for you guys to join, and there should be a little pop-up 
now on your screen that allows you to join the raffle. I think most people in chat are already a part of my cult, but quite a large cult to be fair. Um, so I think we've got like two or three new people who need to join. Okay, we only seem to have one participant, that's okay. Yeah, let's welcome this one. Hey, TW Cat Girl, welcome to my cult. You should now have a little pop up that allows you to create your character, so go ahead. I wonder what you're gonna choose. Uh, Rosen Online, I could check if you're still alive. Because I know definitely you've got a character in the game. It, it, whether or not you're still alive is uh, maybe up for debate. Because we've sadly lost quite a few followers uh, over the time I've been playing. Oh, you're so cute, little kitty. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Um, hmm. We always need new help, uh, more help on the farms, so let's welcome you for that. <laughs> and let's welcome <laughs> you. <laughs> Convert me to your cult, I will follow your teachings faithfully. <sighs> and let's welcome this other newcomer. Question, am I still dead? Um, quite possibly, Connet. Quite possibly. Um, I'll need to double check who's still alive and who's dead. Uh, but let us... Run the raffle again. Uh, are there any newcomers who have not yet joined my cult? Who's not dead, so... I need to watch Atlantis again. Absolutely. Uh, anyone else who hasn't yet joined uh, the cult in my chat? Otherwise, um, uh, I can make try and make another one of my characters. Yep, it seems like everyone has currently joined already, so who do I still need to make? Like, out of my characters. Oh, do we have an, some new follower forms? Of course, we've got little crab. The Lubet, are you serious? The Lubet, you already supported me on Friday, but thank you so much for the 10 more gifted community subs. Holy shit. Lubet, thank you so, so much. You're absolutely amazing. Thank you. Oh, dude, I really appreciate it. Thank you. It really means a lot to me that you guys, like, support my Twitch in innumerable ways. And thank you so much, Lube, for such a generous heart. Thank you. Yes, I feel like spreading some joy. And absolutely you are, Lube. Thank you so, so much. Oh. Alrighty, who else should I make? suggestions for characters I haven't made yet because uh, I'm just trying to think like are there any characters that haven't come to mind yet that I haven't made yet I don't think I've made Cytarol yet actually my uh, my blue dragon I'm not quite sure what form would be best for her because there's not any like reptilian ones except for the turtle 
like that it's an, it's an armadillo or a pangolin but that could maybe be in a little bit because it's scaled there's a horn thing from anchor d that's true we can maybe do that because it's kind of like a, a crown of sorts The seahorse does kind of look like a sea dragon, to be fair. Actually, that's a crocodile. Let me just see what that looks like in blue. That's actually not too bad. Let's make Cytaral. There we go. What other variations are there? Yes, we'll do some nice markings as well. Cytaral, welcome. To my cult. Oh. And you can worship me. And everyone else is doing so good. I think I have enough gold now for all of the tarot cards. So why don't we head over to Midas's place and get that taken care of? So Tarot worships no one. In this game, she does. She worships the power of the Lamb. Because all will one day crumble before the Lamb. Alright. Um, drop Black Echo on hit. When killed, resurrect with... Uh, oh, That one's really good. Dead enemy bodies explode, damaging other enemies. Okay, I'm getting all of these. I like honestly like this fun little voice that I did for the lamb just kind of came out of nowhere and I love doing it Dead de enemy bodies explode damaging other enemies Yeah, we can just totally make it that in a like a, a post credit moment You just see Cytaral crawling their way over the hill or like going through the forest And they just see like gold coins in their eyes as they behold Midas's bounty of all these gold pieces and little frozen statues and that is the last tarot card we need the deal the deal is done but at what cost when killed resurrect with a red heart and guys i got the achievement that is all of the tarot cards fuck yes feels good Ooh, i get that gold back the gods of uh gold the gods of gold have accepted your offering Oh, nice. Very nice. And yes, I need gold coins in order to get these. But I'm okay for now. Um, Sozo is probably doing fine. Why don't we go and play some knuckle bones? My cult's doing fine at the moment. They're well fed, well rested. All getting taken care of. It's a bad one, but You know what? I want to fight. I want to do a Knuckle Bones game against each of them again, ending with Ratao as a kind of like final farewell. Because the thing is, in case you haven't already know, like, uh, sensed um, from like watching my streams, I'm a very sentimental player. Like, when you saw um, me playing Resident Evil Village, like, I wouldn't sell the collectibles that were explicitly tied with a particular character. Uh, want to do Holy Day Ritual. Um, I'll do the Knuckle Bones game against two of them. Because the thing is, I have to win. Um, and then I'll go back, do the Holy Day Ritual, and then come back for a bit more. And I will bet... I've got more than enough gold. But I'm not going to get too overly ambitious. I'll bet 25 gold on this. Come on, Shrummy, let's see what you got. You were almost crying at the crystals of the daughters. Shut up! No, you were.
I believe you didn't sell any of the collectibles for the bosses and most of the mini bosses. No. No, I did not. I refused to. Not even things like I didn't I don't think I even saw things like Lady Dimitrescu's uh, lipstick or anything like that. <laughs> I win. Hmm. Again? Yes, again. <laughs> Panko and Bob, what have you got? <laughs> nope, none of her class or collectibles. Because I'm a very sentimental player, okay, guys? And I just care about these characters so much. <laughs> and everything's fine. Why is it that I can also see, like, like while this game is kind of, like, dark in a lot of ways and it doesn't fuck around with, like, all the creepiness of the cult, I could imagine it being a running joke that the lamb can't swear because it's they're trying to set such a good example for their cult and everything like that. Like, you know, burying bodies and murder and sacrifices, you know, it's fine. But the lamb can't say fuck. <laughs> Or it's censored with a bleach. Absolutely, Hayden. Or, or it's like something like they stub their toe really, really badly, and you know, the impulse is like to curse or something, and all they do is bleat really, really loudly. Like, oh. Victory tastes sweet. Huh, that was fun. Bob says congratulations. Lemmy did great, didn't they, Bob? Oh, well, at least they're a kind loser. Well, let's just go back and do the holy day ritual, because it's still early in the day, I think. And you guys work so hard, so I'm going to give you a day off. Oh. It's deciding my fate, are you? Something good, I hope. stone for me. Nice, nice. Yes, let me just give my sermon and I'll give you guys a holy day. Oh, hydrate check from uh, cat girl. Sorry, I didn't see that earlier. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Pedro, thank you so much for the follow. You are now one of my lovely lost tales, and you're welcome at the Blue Rose Respite anytime. All right, a stretch check from Hayden. Perfect time, because I'm giving you guys a day off. Oh, that snapping sound you heard was my neck. Ow. Ow. Oh, look at you in your little Hawaiian shirts. Welcome back, Philip. Everything's going well. Give me your faith. I knew you could do it. You truly are divine. That I am, my loyal follower. That I am. Always 
are running out of seats in the farm. I should get some more. Residences. Yeah, in all the streams I watch, I've never seen the hindrance options. Should we go for hinder next time just to find out? You know what? We have such um, uh, a strong and powerful cult. If the, when the next option comes around, you want to choose to like hinder me, that's fine. So long as it's not during a boss fight or when like you can tell I'm very, very stressed. Otherwise, it's a-okay. Hey, how's it going, lion? Oh my god, oh my god, you guys, Steph's slaying this game with no surprise. Oh, Lion, you are too kind. You are too kind, my friend. I am just trying my best and succeeding with flying colors. Oh my god, but <laughs> could you imagine if, like, the hindrance thing did, like, um, did something like, your cult dies entirely, start from scratch. Like, fuck that. Guys, you're so loyal, so cute, and everyone else is doing well. I should upgrade the last of the outhouses. I'm gonna do that if I have enough supplies. Oh, not yet. I need more wooden planks. That's okay. Died of old age. Okay. Let's get you taken care of. They party too hard. And then, then their heart couldn't take it. Okay, let's get you taken care of. Oh, everyone's doing so good. You guys are probably hungry too, so I'm going to take care of that. Followers are now zombies and you have to kill them. No! Not my precious beans! Oh, um, Vince, if you're still in the chat, um, I've been doing this fun voice for the lamb character, or just kind of like what I think the lamb would sound like, and apparently it is both adorable and hilarious. <laughs> Well, that's my shift. Head home to enjoy the rest of the stream, everybody. Great company as usual, Stephanie. You're most welcome, Dinger, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, safe travels, getting home safely, and I'm glad that work went well. Oh, no, wait, you're heading to your shift. No worries. I hope that work's good for you then. Hadrobot, what's up? The days are dragging, blurring together. We need inspiration. Please enlighten us. Yeah, sure, I'll do the alignment ritual. I have bones of my enemies for days. Why don't I decorate the space around where you guys are resting just a little bit more? Because it's uh, the spookiest time of year. Let's put up some more pumpkins. Put some pumpkins there. Some more here. Do we have other pumpkin stuff? Where is it? 
We have a kind of pumpkin sort of lamb with the, the red crown on it. So let's put some of these around as well. Because they're very cute. Because then it's nice like um, a little Halloween neighborhood sort of thing. Good with that. Hello. Oh, Foster King became sick. Let's take care of that then, shall we? Not feeling so good, friend? Thankfully, we have these lovely flowers to help you feel better soon. The amount of work they're going to have once the holy day is over. Well, that's why they should enjoy their vacation while they have it. There's a lot of stuff they need to do. But some people are still a little hungry, so let me take care of that. taken care of. Oh yeah, I forgot because um, there's a couple of houses that uh, need to be renovated still, so there might be some people who sleep outside tonight, but that's okay. We can just call it a camping trip. I know this is dumb, but it's only now that I realize that the lamb has not slept once. And I don't think dying counts. Since the start of this game, the lamb hasn't slept. And yes, that is weird and a little creepy and no old age either. Oh, the health benefits of demonic pacts. Oh, but look at all of our trophies of the four bishops. I really love the aesthetics of this game. Um, and even just like the little things about the trophies, like how they reflect each of the realms that they're from. Like the Dark Wood, it has the flat. Actually, they have each of the collectibles that you can get um, from each area. So the dark wood has like the red camellias, um, the, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but um, this one has the mushrooms and this one has the crystals and this one has the spider webs. That is so cool. All right, everyone is doing well. Holy day is almost over. So let me just give my sermon. Actually, we'll do the enlightenment ritual. And then I'll do my sermon. Temporarily increase devotion generation speed in your shrine by 20% for three days. Yep, because that goes down a little bit, and then I'll do my sermon to up and again. And Hayden, go to sleep. God damn it, just take care of yourself, okay? that sermon. There we go. Larger bot, where are you? So I did your quest for you. There you are. I knew you could do it, you truly are divine. Everyone's doing good. Yeah, 
Yes, on those loyalty bonuses. Good, good. Hayden, that is not enough sleep. Four and a half hours is not enough sleep. Come on, dude. Just let yourself sleep in a little bit more. There we go. We end of the holy day. So I'm going to leave you guys to busy yourselves with work. And in the meantime, I'm going to go play knuckle bones with my friends. And kind of give last farewells for that. Linky. Yes. I'd like to make a wager. Don't make me bring out the lamb voice and chastise you guys for not getting a full night's sleep. Because as leader of this cult, it's my duty to make sure that all of my followers take care of themselves. By exactly one point. <laughs> I suck. Yeah, you do. Retal. Once more for all time's sake. Because I'm about to do what I was resurrected to do. And that is to welcome back the one who waits. I really hope they'll be proud of me. And there'll be no re negative repercussions of my actions. You love this game, but I think I might be the new champion. <laughs> it seems fortune is not on my side. No matter, you played well. And you too, my friend. But I have responsibilities now, so I have to go take care of those. Let's just check down here and see if there was anything else we have to do. Hmm, I don't think so. I think we took care of everything else. Like, the lighthouse just gives loyalty now, so I think we're good. Say, say a quick hello to Sozo. 
Oh no, I'm just spoiling you guys. The voice is just fun to do. Oh my god, so Sozo? I'm glad I came to check up, up on you. Oh my god, they're fucking dead. Oh my god, guys. Sozo actually fucking dies. I can't interact with them or anything, look. Oh my god. He literally melted his brain with mushrooms. Oh my god, and there's little flies, like, flying around where the mushroom is. Oh my god. Damn. Oh, I'm coming to die of old age. Fuck, I'm sorry. I'll come back. Sozo. Rest in spores, my friend. Rest in spores. Then again, if they were, like, a super trippy person, maybe they were like, I'm going... I'm going to ascend from my mortal confinement and become one with the spores. I don't have any eyes of the witness, so I'm going to leave that for now. And there isn't anything here. I'm not sure if something was supposed to pop up here, but nothing ever did. Which is interesting. It might have just been a weird thing with my particular playthrough, or something that just didn't unlock, so who knows. Sozo went out like they lived, lost in the source of shrooms. Indeed. Indeed they did. But I see chat is deciding my fate. If you choose Hinder, I'm not going to be upset. I'm curious to see what happens as well. <laughs> Come now, Carmina. Let's get you laid to rest. Oh, come on. I don't see what you guys did. Did it run out of time? It didn't let me pick anything. Okay, though. Okay, it bugged out. No worries. It still seems to be accepted contributions, so maybe the next time. That's okay, guys. These things happen. But guys, in about 10 minutes or so, I'm actually going to head over to rescue or uh, set free the one who waits. And we're going to be moving into the end game of Call to the Lamb. So it might wrap up in, the stream might wrap up in the next like a um, uh, little while, like in the next like 15, like 20 minutes or so. Um, and then I'll have a slightly earlier night, but it all depends on how things go with uh once happens uh what once uh, what happens after I free the one who waits cuz i haven't been spoiled or anything like that as to what happens um the only thing like was when i asked at the end of last stream just like is there like enough stuff that happens after that happens to like make a full stream but it it varies was essentially people's response Or oh, three hours later, we're still here. You know what? Knowing me in this game, that that wouldn't surprise me. If I'm like, okay, guys, I'm gonna be wrapping it up, and then like the next like 20 minutes or something, and then three hours later, it's like four hour stream, four hour stream. Talon said to get everything out of the way before going in. Yes, I'm absolutely gonna do that. Please, leader. There are some folks who are starving and have no place to go home. We must let them join our cult. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I have more than enough food to go around. Uh, chat, um, sound off if there are people in chat who haven't yet joined my cult. Because I want to make sure that everyone is a part of my wonderful little cult. I 
I said that yesterday to myself that I would do a two hours of uh, Mortuary Assistant and it became four. <laughs> I've heard Mortuary Assistant is amazing. The thing is, I'm shit with jump scares. Like, one of my amazing friends, Autumn Ivy, she's in the Mortuary assist Assistant. So I feel like I really should play it. It looks amazing and I want to support like games that my friends are in. But I'm just worried I'm just going to have a bad time. Oh, one Dreams Maker. Um, in that case, uh, if there's some people who are in chat who haven't joined the stream but they're watching on mobile, we can run um, uh, some of the moderator run uh, raffles. So, essentially, like, they uh, have a random number generator. You guys who haven't yet joined my cult pick a number, and then the winner I make manually in the game. Um, so it just won't have, like, your name above them, uh, like it is with the Twitch integration, like these guys. But the only thing I ask is that if I do do with that method, method, you already have, like, an idea in mind on what you want your, uh, little avatar to look like. Just so that it makes it a, a bit more streamlined when I'm making it. Oh, Terrius hasn't yet joined. Um, absolutely we can do that. Uh, Toby, I think you have joined. Let me just check. I'm not sure if you have. Let me just check. <laughs> I think you have. I think you may have won one of the raffles, but I can't remember. Yeah, Samuel, you're still dead. So let's bring you back. Because I have bones for days. And yeah, Faith will go down a little bit, but I can bring it back up with the sermon. Samuel, where are you? There we go. Sam, do you want to come back? Or do you want to rest peace in peace? Alright, welcome back, Sam. Rise. He lives! And let's do a sermon to raise that faith once again. Oh. All right, everyone's doing good. There you are. There you go. <laughs> Happy. And the number is 87. The winner is Dreamsmaker. Absolutely. Now, Dreamsmaker, um, have a uh, think about what you want your avatar to look like, and I will set to make it. Um, I will also say, Terius has been in many of my streams and they haven't yet been able to join. So let's make the other person Terius. So Terius, have a think about what you want your um, avatar to look like. Oh, hang on. Uh, one dreams maker. Yes, that looks to be correct. Now, dreams maker, what would you like to look like?
Otherwise, I can make this one Terrius if uh, Dreamsmaker is away from keyboard at the moment. Just let me know. I'll sit back and enjoy my whiskey for a second. Mm. Oh, Terrius, of course. Of course. Um, if you're currently in chat and Terrius might be away for... Uh, sorry, um, Dreams Maker might be away for a second. If you want to, I can make this one yours. If you have an idea of uh, what you want to look like. Uh, what whiskey tonight, Steph? I am enjoying the last of uh, my bottle of um, Smokehead. I'm going to order some more soon um, for next weekend. But um, let's make this one yours, uh, Terrius. And then when Dreams Maker is back, I'll make the next one theirs. There we are, Terrius. What would you like to look like? So many options. Smokehead is so good. Like, I've been drinking as much whiskey as I uh, used to, like, a couple of months ago. So when I do have it, it feels like it's an extra special treat. Uh, I'm going to say Grey Wolf, because Tira's my patron. Um, I haven't yet unlocked the wolf form. Uh, would a dog be acceptable? Like, a grey dog. Because we have the dog, we have the fox. Um, I think this is supposed to be the wolf, but they're not currently unlocked. Sadly, I haven't gone around to unlocking them yet. So I can make a grey dog. And then I can make it like a darker grey or a lighter grey. Any particular preference. There's also like this shade of grey, so one, two, three. I love all the different colour combos. Darker grey, okay, perfect. Uh, did you want the face markings or uh, this with a few little like freckles on the snoot? I think actually, because I'm, I'm kind of vibing to the music at the moment, I think in there was a recent award that Massive Monster went to, the developers of this game, um, and I think they actually won an award for the music in Cult of the Lamb, and it, wouldn't, it doesn't surprise me because like the music in this game is so good, and honestly, this team deserves all of the accolades and all of the awards and recognition uh, that they're getting, because this game is so good. Ah, uh, yes to face markings. Perfect. Welcome to the cult. Alright, uh, before I get too far ahead, let's actually make some food. Because the people who are joining us are very, very hungry. Because these were the ones who joined as part of a quest, like, Oh, welcome to my cult, these hungry followers. There we go. Everyone's doing good. And yeah, who was the other winner? Uh, Dreams Maker was the other winner, um... Uh, so, Dreams Maker, could you make yourself known in chat? Everything's going good... Yeah, they might be away from keyboard at the moment. Octarius! Oh, you're most welcome! Thank you so much for uh, coming to my streams and supporting me in innumerable ways. Like, thank you. Oh my god, who died? 
plants and eaters died of old age. No. Okay. Where are you? Let's get you taken care of. Properly laid to rest. Come on, I, I need to get to the body, please. There we are. No, I don't want to talk. I just want to pick up the remains so I can move them to their place of rest. That's the one downside of when your cult gets bigger is that you kind of have to awkwardly position yourself just right in order to get the right interaction. There we go. Um, if Dreamsmaker is away from keyboard at the moment, then we might run the raffle again. You're back. Okay, perfect. Um, have you had a thought about what you wanted your uh, uh, av avatar to look like? I'm sorry, Steph. I uh, want to make one I put in your hands. Okay. Just let me know what kind of um, uh, form you would like to take and what color, and I can get that made for you. Perfect. Ah, so what form would you like to take? It's my new follower. We've got these ones from the Silk Cradle as well, and Anchor Deep. We unlocked a lot of these, except for like these last ones, but I think honestly, uh, you only really unlock those ones by going through a lot of crusades to existing areas again, or you go further in, um, and then uh, you just find them in chests and things like that. But I didn't really do that a lot because I was more focused on like, um, uh, like sticking mostly to like plot related quests or only going back if I meant if I meant to do like uh, a quest or something Okay, I pick one um, Let's see who do we not have yet You know what we don't actually have any s stags yet. I think so. Why don't we do a, a beautiful and majestic stag? Because I personally, I love the way that the stag forms look with like the antlers and everything like that. And even like the subtlety of the markings on them. If that looks good with you, Dreamsmaker. Oh, Atomic Cat. I am dressing as, um, I'm channeling the spirit of the lamb tonight. As this is my final stream of the Cult of the Lamb. Um, because we're essentially like right at the end of the game. So this is going to be the last time I stream it. Unless like a DLC comes out or something like that. Like a new DLC with like maybe an extended story or something. Um, Massive Monster haven't announced any DLC coming out or anything like that or any expansions. Um, but for now, this is going to be my last stream of it. So I wanted to get like in the zone tonight. Okay, that works with you, Dreams Makeup. Perfect. Welcome to my cult. <laughs> Alright, people are doing good. Okay, everyone's doing good. I'm taking care of everyone who is hungry. Because I am a very good cult leader. Make sure everyone is hungry and take. Uh, sorry, everyone is taken care of and not starving or hungry. No, you must starve. Everyone seems to be good. Mm. 
I still can't wrap my brain around the fact that when I went to go say like farewells to Sozo, he had fucking OD'd on mushrooms. Like, oh no, if it isn't the consequences of my actions. Okay. For the final section, could you please do the lamb voice? You know what? I absolutely will. Hayden, I'll complete that quest for you. Wow, you did it. Truly, you are without flaw. I am grateful, great leader. The man died as he lived. High as fuck. Indeed. Indeed he did. But I'm gonna add some fuel. I'm gonna do one last sermon in the morning. And then I think I'm gonna go and try to awaken the one who waits. Or free the one who waits. No, I'm not gonna make a meal out of poop. Mute, how's it going? Welcome to the Blue Rose Respite. I hope you are doing well this evening. This is actually going to be my last stream of Cold of the Lamb, so you came at perfect time. Um, just a heads up, if you were planning on playing this game for yourself, we're essentially right at the end of the game, so there's going to be massive spoilers. I just like being fair and giving a heads up to people who are like, just joining tonight. Um, just in case they were like, oh, I'm just gonna check out and see what this game is like. No, we're right at the end. So it's like, we're in big town spoiler territory. Oh, you always see the community posts. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad you're able to join then. Oh. Steph, you gotta do it for the meme at this point. And one last head pat for doggos. Okay, I can do that. There's food. Everyone, have a meal. Make sure you're not hungry. And then I'm gonna do a sermon. And then I think... I'm gonna head out. And finally free the one who saved me from perdition. <laughs> oh wait! Oh snap! Okay, no spoilers since it happened, but Sosa was an ant that was taken over by fungi. How did I not see that? Because like with the multiple arms and his stature, I thought he was a spider. But it was like an ant with a quadriceps fungus? Oh, that makes so much more sense! That's fucking brilliant! I love that! Oh my god, that makes so much sense! That is... I fucking love this game, you guys! That is so fucked up, and I love it. Oh no! So that's what happens if you hit Hinder. Everyone falls asleep. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that's pretty. We can get some purple roses. They're almost blue roses. Almost. You know what? Fuck it. As my last thing before I go, I'm gonna give head pats, and I'm also gonna plant decorations. Of these potted purple roses all around my cult because this is the blue rose respite and I want my cult to be pretty as fuck go. Oh, thank you for the hydrate check, Echo. Mm. Now, where are the doggos? Okay, Wolforia, you're also a doggo, so you get head pads too. <laughs> Everyone's doing good. Other doggos. Okay, Aiden. 
can I not give? Wait, are you a dog or? No, you were a fox, that's why. Okay. Fox puppy. Get some head fats too. <laughs> Good doggo. Uh, Terrius. Huh? Pets. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Oh, gosh, I'm not yeah, could I'm you collect some spider silk from Silk Cradle for me? <sighs> you know what? I'll say yes, and then when I return. I can do that for you. But for now, there's something greater I need to do. Uh, box puppy, I already gave pen hats to. This, um, and are there any other dogs that need head pads? Mm. Ah, there you are. And Sam, I think, was the last of the doggos. And there we go. Alright, guys. The time has come, the walrus said, to think of many things, of shrews and sh sincerely works of cabbages and kings. And it is finally time to free the one who waits. I already gave my last sermon. And with that... I have to do what I was resurrected to do. So guys, Terry's Games, well, this is where I take my leave. I have a meeting with cos my cosplay group, Steph, an honor to be part of your cult and everyone enjoy the stream. Thank you so much for joining us, Terrius, and good luck with your meeting. So guys, wish me luck. I don't know what happens, but it's time to free the one who waits. Let's do that quick stretch check. Actually, before I do that, just to be safe, I'm gonna summon some demons. I don't know why, I just have this feeling something's gonna go wrong. Or a riot or something. I just wanna be prepared. Flies away and returns with red hearts. Okay, Hayden, I'm sorry, I'm gonna need your assistance on this. There's just. Something that makes me nervous. Oh my god, who's fucking dead? I was away for like two seconds. Oh, Wolf Warrior, I'm. Your heart was overwhelmed by headpads. No! Don't worry, I'm gonna take care of you. I'll get you. Well rested. There we go. May you rest in peace, friend. Alright. And yes, this is. I'm totally not at all nervous about uh, facing the one who waits. I'm just showing that through trial, I have um, earned the favor of many powerful demons. Thank you, Luber, for your help. And who else? I've got one for healing, one for melee weapons. The one uh, shoots a projectile at an enemy every few seconds. It's also very good. I might ask Castor to do it. Is there another one? Yep, yeah, shoots a projectile at an enemy every few seconds. Hasta, help me. All right. Wish me luck, guys. Last little bit of food. Do I? I should probably grab that. So I was like, why am I running low on food? Oh, it's not, it's not right. I haven't harvested in a while. But yeah, because the guys are starting to get a little hungry. So let's get that taken care of at least a bit before I go. There we go. 
but I have an abundance of hearts. We got this. We got this, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, once- what? Someone upset, someone feeling gross. Oh my god, who's sick? One second. Oh wait, sorry. You, go lie down, you're sick. Alright, now we go. I just- I'm a very sentimental player, guys, okay? I just like making sure that all of you guys are taken care of because also the great and terrible thing about the Twitch integration chat is that you guys are in the are literally watching me stream and I'm responsible for making sure that you're okay. So I just want to make sure that all of you guys are fine and good and healthy and well rested and fine. As I face, and finally, welcome back, the one who waits. And as I ascend the steps, I'm curious what lies beyond. But with the power of the red crown, and the loyalty of my followers in my heart, I know I can do this. I haven't been back here in quite some time. I, I'm sure that they'll be so happy to see me, right? I mean, I, I work so hard. I, I spent all this time proving my loyalty and building this cult. And finally, it's time for the lamb chop. Come, my followers, come and pray, for we awaken and return the one who waits. Hmm, okay. Um, Bane Hammer, Apostate's Cleaver. I'm gonna go with a good old fashioned Crusader's Blade, stalwart companion to the Wandering Warrior, a well balanced blade dealing moderate damage. Oh, Galactic Emperor Batman! Hail, Seraph of Stories! I, Octavian of House Saxon, first of my name, immortal emperor of the Galactic Dominion, sole ruler, ruler of Mandalore, lord of a thousand sectors, and defender of the galaxy, have arrived with a 16 month prime resub. Loving the stream, keep up the good work. Oh, thank you so much, Galactic Emperor Batman, you're the absolute best. Thank you so much for supporting me in my cult. Ah. All right, hmm. Uh, call of the Crown, Death's Attendant, and Devastating Melee Attack will also summon ghosts from slain enemies. Hmm, all of these are quite good. I was hoping for one that had knockback effects. Um, let's go with Death's Attendant. Oh yeah! In, in this game there's even a bar button! It, it's for good little precious beans like me. Alright. Wish me luck, guys! Hi. Um, uh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I, I really tried to get here as fast as I could. But... We eventually got here. Vessel, I relinquish you from your service to the Red Crown. Return it to me, and embrace the end that awaits. With this last sacrifice of my most devoted follower, I will be freed. Finally, I will be free. Approach, Vessel, and lay your life down at my feet. My followers, but but but, sir, I worked so hard. Mm, I worked so hard, you guys. I no, but what's gonna happen to you if I kneel? 
you know what? Mister, I worked really hard and I fought all those bishops. No, no, I refuse. I'm the wielder of the red crown, not you. I say no. So you have betrayed me, lamb. You have shunned my gospel and claimed yourself a false idol. That crown is mine by divine right. You think to stand in the very face of death. Master, allow me. I will give this wretch a taste of your wrath. Take care of this beast, Master. I will cut that crown from its head. Aim. You think yourself victorious. You think yourself safe. Do not forget you belong to me. Even after I have slaughtered you, your pain will not end. You cannot escape me even in death. I am beyond death, sir. Through my trials I have earned that right. strike you down with blade and with might and with magic and everything else at my disposal.
believe me defeated? Did you think that to be all there was? Did you think that to be all there was to a being such as I? You thought yourself above a god! Corrupt false idol, your corruption has no doubt spread. No! Instead of crown bearing deity. Damned lamb. I am at your mercy. Are you to be a vengeful false idol or a merciful coward? No longer can you blame your vile acts on me. My cult is bountiful and fruitful, and I show mercy to those who prove their loyalty. So join me, and through our power, we will ascend to even greater heights. You weak, sniveling, foul thing. You wait, wait. Today shall be a day for the Odyssey. For my divine will has been supplanted. I am the Lamb, and all shall bow before me. Sacrifice reborn vessel. Ascend once more and take true form. No longer servant, no less than a god. Thank you for playing, noble disciple. Please spread the good word near and far so that others may be blessed by the divine teachings of the mighty Lamb. For the Lamb is mighty and worthy of your devotion. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Um, I really hope that you had a good time. I really felt the power of your guys' faith during that final battle. It was scary. I was really worried towards the end. 
but I, I stayed focused and throughout combined strength we finally laid low the one who waits in the name of the lamb and the dark forest and all of our loyal followers. <laughs> Amen. And with that, uh, we come to the end of our story. In my beautiful cult, Archive of the Lost. You, new follower, you are welcome into my cult. But the thing is, I want you to remember who you are and where you came from. And remember that it was a humble lamb that showed you mercy. Because... You will never reach old age, for you are immortal, and you shall serve me until the end of all things. And as the dawn rises on day 100 of this cult, I set you to the duty of worshipping me. But with that, I think it's time that we draw this story to a close. So, thanks so much everyone for joining me on this adventure of seeing me grow from a small, sad, weak little sacrifice into essentially the god of this realm. Yay! <laughs> But thank you so much, everyone. Um, I think it's time that we wrap things up. So, yeah. Um, hi guys. I I guess I'll see you again soon. But you take care, okay? Get plenty of sleep. Don't eat bowls of poop. And um, just just try your best. Just try your best and show loyalty and devotion to those who deserve it. Hmm. And with that, I bid farewell to you all with one last... <laughs> <laughs> but I think with that, we'll bid farewell to the lamb for now. And I think this is a perfect time to wrap up tonight's stream. Um, I'm just going to leave it on the pause screen for a bit because I do want to give my last thoughts on this game. First, first and foremost, thank you so much, Jen, for the 100 bits. Great ga game, great performance, all round well done, Steph. Thank you so much, Jen. I'm so sorry I sacrificed you. <laughs> but thank you so much for the 100 bits. You're amazing, thank you. Um, <laughs> but I want to give my last thoughts on this game. Um, I was so excited when I saw the teasers for this game and for a game to live up to the hype. So often nowadays we have games that are mired in like technical issues or you know they have amazing trailers but they fall flat short of our expectations. This is a game from a small indie developer in Australia that just knocked it out of the park. It is simple but there's enough that keeps you engaged and wanting to come back for more. You want to keep building your cult, you want to customize it. You can honestly pick this game up for yourself in case it wasn't already obvious. Buy this game, support the developers as much as you can. If you love this game as much as I do, you maybe even consider buying some merch. Like I've considered buying one of the lamb plushies. They're always sold out, but when it becomes available again, I'm really considering getting one myself. But this is a small indie developer from Australia, and as a fellow Australian, it means so much to me when I see like people from my country do really well and make amazing games like this. Like, yes, it's dark and it's creepy, but it's so cute at the same time. And like even little things, like as an Australian, like when it's like at night and you hear like the forest sounds those are australian birds that you can hear in like the um uh like the bird song and stuff like that um or it's like in in the early morning or something but there's like australian bird song in there as well which is so cool and i love so much like 
Galactic Emperor Batman Massive Monster and Developer Digital did an amazing job with this game. Absolutely, absolutely they did. Um, but yeah, even though if you've been watching my stream of this, like my series of streams of this from start to end, you of course know all the main plot beats, but I highly encourage like supporting the game regardless, picking it up for yourself, and then like b making your cult your own way. You might choice, uh, make different choices than me. Because uh, I don't know what happens if you choose to murder uh, the one who waits. Um, or if you choose uh, like a slightly darker path and you have more sacrifices and like darker things. Or if things get completely out of hand uh, with your cult and everything goes to shit. Um, but yeah, this game is fantastic. I cannot wait to see what else these developers do. I am so excited to see if there's any like DLC that they're working on or new additions to the game coming out, whether it's like new follower forms, new customization stuff, or just like new adventures that can be told with this because they've essentially established this fun, cute, creepy little world. And I could definitely see them adding like DLC for like new areas to explore, new bosses to defeat, new gods to slay and stuff. Or maybe even in a good couple of years, because like this just came out, but maybe in a good couple of years we get Cult of the Lamb 2, where we get to see like more incredible things, more terrifying enemies for uh, our beautiful little lamb to go up against. But we'll just have to see how this goes. But I highly recommend supporting the developer, supporting indie developers like this who tell fantastic stories like this, because as the Seraph of Stories, games like this mean a lot to me. So it would really mean a lot to me if you showed your support for, uh, for them. Um, and also, we were uh, almost at like 40 viewers earlier tonight. I've been so amazed by the amount of love and support of my streams of this game in particular. And I just love seeing you guys have so much fun with it alongside me. The Twitch integration is fucking fantastic. It took a little while for me to get things going at the start of it, but that's just mostly because we had just started the game and we're still figuring things out. But once we got into the flow of things, it was absolutely amazing. And yeah, I cannot recommend this game enough, but I think I'm going to wrap things up now because it's just past two hours now and I feel like this is a good point to wrap things up. We will bid farewell to our cult, the Archive of the Lost, after I've saved. Um, and yeah, so we're calling it a night, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you've been lurking in the shadows and you like what you've seen so far, please consider following. We would love to have you back at the Blue Rose Respite. You're welcome anytime. Be sure to check out my other socials in the chat right now, including uh, my Twitter for important updates, my YouTube for um, my ASMR tales, the one that I'm working on at the moment. It's going to be qu probably going to be quite a long video, and I'm very, very excited for it. And my Instagram for lovely pictures and all that good stuff. And yeah, a huge thank you to everyone everyone who renewed their subscriptions tonight. A huge thank you to the Lou Bear for the incredible amount of gifted subs. Thank you so much, sorry, uh, for supporting my archive of Lovely Lost Tales. You are amazing and I really appreciate it. And I think tomorrow I'll announce what I'm going to be streaming on Friday. I'm very excited for it. It's a game that I've been waiting to come out for a number of years now, like hanging for any nugget of information I could get. And when I found out it was coming out next Friday, I was excited because I thought I was gonna have to bring the Reverend back in time for Resident Evil Village. But you just have to have more faith in the Reverend. She's gonna come back whenever she feels like it. So I'll see you on Friday for a new game I'll be streaming. I think we'll be able to do the whole, all of the game in one night, but we will see. And keep an eye out on my socials for what I'm going to be playing next Sunday as well. I just need to double check the uh, release date of a particular game that I think is coming out next week, but I just need to be 100% sure. So, thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Let's see who's currently streaming and we can go send them some love. Uh, you know what? Let's go say hi to the wonderful Brian and Amelia over on Deck Art Games again. Give them a ton of love from the Blue Rose Respite. I think they were going to be either starting to play or have started playing Cult of the Lamb. So, of course, don't tell them any spoilers, but highly recommend it to them um, if uh, you haven't already. So, thank you all so much for joining me tonight, guys. I will see you next Friday. 
at the Blue Rose Respite for something very fun. And, and uh, sorry, my brain's all over the place tonight. And remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And as always, um, stay wicked and wonderful. <laughs> Good night, guys.